John Wheeler, who lived a few blocks away from the Institute for Advanced Study and was a professor of physics at Princeton, and with whom I worked as a graduate student. You know, Wheeler gave me a problem in nuclear fission, and I worked for a few years and figured out enough of an answer to it to, to get my doctorate. Uh, working with Wheeler was an experience worth mentioning because he was an extraordinary teacher and mentor. Wheeler gave to all his students his imaginative uh, mind. It was uh, very full of color and full of anecdotes and full of stories about his mentor, Niels Bohr, who was the father of atomic physics, a Danish physicist. Wheeler became famous in the public to some extent for, for popularizing the notion of black hole. He wasn't the very first probably to ever use that phrase, but he was the one who spread it and who drew many young physicists into uh, figuring out the physics of black holes and also of wormholes. In particular, he had me do the math for one of his speculations, which is that it might be possible to move faster than the speed of light by going through a wormhole instead of going the long way through ordinary space. He, he set up the problem, thought of the problem, set it up, we worked out the equations that would be involved in solving it, and then he told me to go solve it using these equations, and so I regarded myself somewhat jocularly as Wheeler's math slave. Most uh, researchers wouldn't give credit to the math slave, but Wheeler was different in this way. Wheeler had this humble and yet indomitable character uh, he would never give up on trying to solve a problem. If he couldn't solve a problem, he would put it aside and try it next week or next year or next decade. And he taught all his students that. And he, in, he gave us a sense of urgency, partly because he would we'd meet with him at night and he'd give us a problem and call us at 5 a.m. the next morning to see what the solution was. That work ethic stayed with most of his graduate students their whole lives. He, he always gave equal credit to anyone who'd worked on a article with him. He treated everybody like a prince, and that was my main learning from him, is, is how much time and energy you save by treating everybody like a prince. I remember I had a very hard time switching from calling him Professor Wheeler to calling him Johnny which was the name he went by. So he had an instinctive sense of the dignity of everyone he dealt with, and he respected everyone's dignity equally. And uh, it almost felt like an exaggeration for this famous, brilliant man to treat you as an equal. You were supposed to be a peer, even though you weren't his equal, you were his peer in some status sense.